I never felt better, I think, than any exercise. Any pump, ab workout, none of that stuff makes me feel better than training on sprints. I just finished shooting a video about running sprints and the importance of running sprints. Some people have asked about my, my numbers. What's up everyone? I got a new video I just put together on running sprints in the middle of winter and indoors at a gym. I think it's really, uh, you know, something that will add a lot of value and just as a, like a motivation on like why to keep running sprints and training fast twitch muscles even during the cold weather and how I do it. So I think we'll get a lot, of, a lot out of it, a lot of value out of it. So check it out. Just going to put it together at the end of the video and hit the like button at the end of it if you, if you like the video. Yeah. Leave a comment below, okay? Before I even start with sprinting, 20 minutes of yoga and isometric stretching. Getting like the muscles and joints really loosened up. So, you know, if you're like a 16 year old guy, it may not even matter. You know, you may be like so fit and so active, you may not need that, especially if it's warm out. But if it's cold weather out and you're like in your you know mid to late 20s or 30s or older, you know, you gotta warm up those muscles really good. So like I always do like the yoga and isometric stretching to warm up the joints to get them ready for sprinting, you know, because they need to be ready. And nothing's gonna do it better than like just really holding the yoga poses and warming up those joints to prevent injury. It just feels so good and like the back gets loosened up and all the quads and the glutes and all the hip flexors are all loosened up now and they're nice and warm so I can explode on sprints. Even during wintertime, it's really important to be running sprints and getting faster. You know, I was never fast. I was never like really fast in sports. And this was the first time in my life I've ever like really focused on building the fast twitch muscles and running sprints. And I'm not doing long distance running and I've done a lot of videos in the past and talking about like why I don't do marathon running. You can watch some of those videos up here. But in regarding sprints, it's like just, even if it's not, if it's too cold outside, like I'll find a gym like this and then train the sprints indoors and then hit them out, just knock them out and do my best to get a little bit faster. Even if it's just a shorter distance, like a 20 yard dash like this, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so stay, keep doing sprints, even like, even during the winter time. trying to focus on exploding off the start like boom throw my hips up so like when I'm out walking I'm constantly like trying to focus on exploding and I'm not a freaking runner dude I'm definitely not a sprinter but I'm becoming that it's possible to do that so like just being out walking boom throwing those hips forward like and constantly like building that fast twitch muscles that's one of the things I'm working on constantly Coming off the start has like been really a challenge for me. Like so, getting down and then really exploding off the start. And then I'm learning to like stay low as a sprinter, not be like standing up straight. Cause I'm always like working on posture. So I'm thinking I'm gonna stand up straight. But when I'm trying to sprint, I'm trying to stay low and go forward as fast as I can and build these fast twitch muscles, man. So I can be fast, incredibly fast and just explode out of the gate. Yeah, it's best to take like two to three minute rest period. The muscles really like get to take a break and rest for like two to three minutes in between sets. Nice, thanks for turning those lights off, it's better. Much better. Some guy just turned the lights off in here, it's actually much better. Now it's actually just natural skylight coming through. It's way better probably for the camera. But like taking that two to three minute rest period in between sets and then focusing on breathing. <sighs> breathing like deep into, the, into your balls like Elliot Hulse would say. You know, just watch Elliot Hulse's videos to learn about that. Breathing really deep, getting the oxygen going, and staying loose, you know, just keeping like warm in between sets. Sprints are like, I never felt better, I think, than any exercise. Any pump, 
ab workout, bicep workout, chest workout, chin-ups, weighted chin-ups, military press, it doesn't matter. None of that stuff makes me feel better than training on sprints. Training on sprints is amazing, man. It's amazing. so passionate about like talking about sprints is because well first of all the way it makes you feel feel incredible after doing it but it was something that I never was taught never knew about and underappreciated I always thought cardio endurance training building muscle who would have thought about running sprints I just you just never even crossed my mind there's really a Kino body and Gregor Gallagher that helped turn me on to the to the running sprints idea and it's incredible, man. So definitely like making one day a week, you know, setting aside like 20 minutes to warm up doing the, the stretching and then like another like 15 minutes or so for the sprint. Say you like do five with two, two to three minute rest periods and just go on all out massive action. Guys like, like got hops out there or other guys who are athletes that practice sprinting and jumping, you know, it would be awesome if you leave a comment and as I'm coachable and if you have like, advanced tips or like suggestions i'm open-minded you know to hearing from guys that got hops and guys that like you know kill it athletic ability guys that could slam dunk a basketball that are like 5 10. you know one of the guys out there that was like 5 8 or 5 9 that watches i don't remember his name but i remember he was saying he slam dunks a basketball and he's like 5 8 5 9 you know like what are you doing what can you what kind of tips can you offer uh, leave a comment below that'd be awesome man if you could do that and like what you do to build that type of like incredible fast twitch muscles some people have asked about my my numbers right now i'm at 165 for five no 175 for six reps right now on incline press barbell press so that's why my upper chest has been developing. And then on, on standing overhead military barbell press, I was able, I hadn't done it in about six months. And yesterday I did it for the first time and I only did 105 for six reps. So my shoulders still need some, some work and then we have the standing overhead barbell press. Uh, weighted chin-ups, 90 pounds right now for five reps is my max. 90 pounds for five reps is my max. I've taken a break from that and I'm doing sternum chin-ups right now to let my elbow heal. And then we have barbell curls, uh, my four rep max on barbell curls right now. I have been doing actually dumbbell curls, but when I, I maxed it out, it was up to like 105 for six reps, barbell curls. Boom. 13 and a half inch arms right now, small. Hopefully they'll grow. Back, but staying fairly lean. January 21st, weigh in. 157, tad under 157. Like, leave a comment, subscribe down here. I'll put another video in here as well that'll help you, uh, that I've talked about running sprints in the past, you could check out, so that's it, done. Don't forget to train on sprints. <laughs>